cloudy, gray, gloomy skies. Oh, that's my favorite. Hopefully there's a little bit of rain. Hi y'all, it's Kimberly here. Well, today I have nothing to report. <laughs> it's a very boring, boring Sunday. Uh, the weather here has changed. It was like extremely hot and now it's like it rained last night all last night we had a good rain and it's about 78 or 79 degrees it's been like this all day it's cloudy overcast oh just my favorite kind of weather <laughs> i like the dreary gloomy kind of cool weather that's my kind of weather and i would do well in england scotland ireland all that around that that kind of weather Ugh. I love that kind of weather, but it's um, going to be like this hopefully all week, and it's supposed to rain almost every single day for like almost a week, so uh, just as long as it doesn't flood like it did last time. No, no floods. Don't want any that. Well, um, very boring today. I went to McDonald's, and I got a chicken sandwich or McChicken, and it usually has mayonnaise and lettuce on it. And when I, I was, I was going to stop at the park and eat it. It was such a nice day and kind of cool, nice, breezy weather. And when I opened it up, or I took it out of the bag, it was like, almost like not even wrapped up. It just like fell apart. The lettuce went everywhere. And then I was looking at it and there was no mayonnaise on it. Now, it usually comes with mayonnaise and lettuce. I was like, oh, I can't eat a dry chicken sandwich so I called him I said asked him what the deal was I said or did y'all was it just a mistake or are y'all out of mayonnaise and she goes oh what kind of sandwich did you order what kind of chicken sandwich I said just the regular chicken she goes oh yeah we're out of mayonnaise I was like I wish y'all would have told me that <laughs> and so I was like well can I have like some kind of ranch or something can I come back and get something she goes yeah yeah so I drive all the way back, go get me some ranch. They gave me a couple of things of ranch. I only use one of these old things of ranch. I keep one just in case. And oh, I'm dropping stuff everywhere. I was, it just bothers me when fast food places do things like that. I wish they would have told me. Oh. Well, um, I'm pretty much back on my schedule. I feel a lot better. I still am a little bit tired, but not as bad as I was before. I'm still a little bit fatigued, but um, actually, I'm I'm not going to be working at the place I was going uh, that I have been working at because of the uh, where they shut down the seasonal work, and then they do the outdoor um, uh, in the field work, which I just can't do with my low blood pressure and with that uh the shot the fatigue that I have um I talked to my boss and even though she was trying to find me work inside indoors there's really not a lot of work and the place is it's about almost 35 miles or something like close to 30 something miles away from my house so up there and back that's an extra hour a day um uh, it's been like 250 dollars on gas so I just talked to her and I told her I just can't justify, you know, coming up here even if it's uh, part-time. It's just way too much in gas for a part-time job and she was very understanding and I just told her I'm going to look for something else. Let me work something through the, the summer and then I'll come back for the uh, regular uh, seasonal work, which should be sometime around October, maybe the beginning of October, end of September, October, something like that. So tomorrow, I've taken about a week off of work so tomorrow I'm gonna go find another job <laughs> to hustle and find some work quick and uh, hopefully this agency can help me find something and there was a sign for the pizza hut here in our little town for delivery drivers for uh, delivering pizza for $25 an hour which I don't believe I might talk to them tomorrow morning or sometime tomorrow right before lunch right after lunch rush um i just don't believe that figure 
I think you can, I've done pizza delivery before and it's a great job. It's one of my favorite jobs of all time. And I did make a lot of money. It was very, uh, it was a very good job. I did it for about four, four and a half, a little over four years, I think. And it does kind of, you know, you have to use your car, but this town is really small. So hopefully if I think I can do it with this my truck, is kind of old. I can't run it too hard, but maybe if I do it part time, I've been thinking about that. Or like I say, have to maybe get another job from the agency or something like that um, for a few months just to hold me over. So that's a new thing I'm going to go through right now. Um, I did have a little eBay account a long while ago. <laughs> and I had shut it down so I could work this uh, when I started working this other job last year. Because I just didn't have time. It was in the daytime and you have to take the your packages to the post office, you know, before it closes and mail it. So I couldn't get there on time. So I, I shut it down. But I've been thinking of restarting it just to, for if I can get a job with hours that go with that. then that would really work out really good, I think. And um, my writing, my uh, short story, scary thing is still, I'm still... It's still in the works. Uh, I just got uh, kicked down really hard with that um, vaccination. And I just caught up with my podcasts. And I well, I started uh, re-uploading for YouTube. I mean, I took a few days off from YouTube. But I was back at that. And I've uh, started back with my dog podcast. I have written a little bit more on the original story that I had. Um, hopefully I should finish it soon and get that going. Um, sorry, I mean, it just, this just really put me behind this, I mean, this, this vaccination and just, it just, I mean, it just like gut punched me and I wasn't expecting, I thought I might be sick one or two days, but I did not expect all the side effects and everything that was happening to me. It was, uh, it was very hard to deal with and it just, literally uh i i literally slept or tried to sleep almost all day and at night time it was really hard for me to sleep because i kept waking up every couple hours every two or three hours which i think that kind of gave me like an insomnia type effect which i never had insomnia before in my life i've always been a real hard sleeper and sleep through just about anything and that's another reason why i have dogs because i'm a heavy sleeper and I feel safer with them, and, um, I don't know, this thing just, it really messed with me, with my health, and physically, and, um, but I'm getting back on track, I feel a lot better, and I don't know if, uh, other people have had such severe reactions to it, I don't, I mean, I don't feel like I had any kind of, like, I didn't feel like I had to go to the emergency room or anything like that, but it was just, the severe fatigue that I got from that was unbelievable. I mean, I've never been like that before. I've always been generally tired in the past decade as I've gotten older. And I was always tired when I was younger because I was always working two or three jobs. And I just recently, probably about seven, six and a half or seven years, stopped working two jobs because I moved to the smaller town. And I didn't have uh, as much time to drive back and forth and trying to find a job in this town. is It just sucks here. There's no hardly any work. Although they did open up a big truck stop here on the highway, which was really great. But I don't want to work at a truck stop. I don't want to be a cashier. I've been a cashier literally for uh, over probably a decade or two. If you put to the, together all the collective jobs that I had where I had a cashier, probably about two decades worth. And I'm just sick and tired of that. It's just, I'm uh, stuck to other jobs now that where I don't have to deal with um, people who cashier, wait tables, cocktail, all that. I've, I've had experience doing things like that. And it's just, <sighs> those are jobs that we, you really have to deal with the public. And I'm okay with the public. I don't, I don't have any major personality problems, but at a certain point, I think as a woman, a lot of times you get really um, 
sometimes you just get sick and tired of the treatment and the way you get treated. And it just, I just can't do it anymore. So I'd rather work a factory jobs or jobs like that and jobs where I can be a little bit more uh, independent or on my own more. So that's going to be my search for hopefully tomorrow or the next few days. I gotta get something, something going on. Okay, uh, thank you all, and I'll get back to you soon.